Hello viewers, welcome back to another section of our Apply Electricity Tutorial. In this video, we are going to consider basic elements of electric circuits. This is the first topic we are going to treat under the Applied Electricity course. If this is your first time you are visiting this channel, kindly subscribe and also it's turn on the notification button so that you get updated whenever I post subsequent courses and other tutorials. Don't forget to like and share. So the basic elements of electric circuits. To start your course in applied electricity, you need to know the fundamentals of an electric circuit. First of all, what is an electric circuit? So an electric circuit is the interconnection of electrical elements. So the focus of this video is to know these basic elements which we are going to talk about. So as I was saying, electric circuit is simply the interconnection of electric elements. So if you have a bulb, if you have a battery, and this battery will connect to a switch and the switch will come back. This is a simple connection and this is a basic electrical circuit. Now, the circuit you see here comprises different elements which has come together to form the circuit. And those elements are what we're going to talk about. Generally, in applied electricity, Elements are grouped into two. We have the first being active elements. Active elements. Then we have the second being passive elements. A passive element. So now let's take each and see what it entails. An active element. What is an active element? Let me write it here. An active element. When we say an active element, this is an element or they are the components of an elect electrical circuit which functions to provide energy. So the key term here is provide energy. They provide energy. So when you see a component of an electric circuit and it provides energy for the other component, then that component or that element is what we call an active element. We can talk of voltage, that is the examples. We can talk of voltage and current sources. Current sources. So when you have voltage and current sources, you realize that they provide energy for the other component. You can have solar cells. Solar cells provide energy for the other components. You can have batteries. These components all provide energy for the other components. Hence, they are called active elements. We have a special active element which is the transistor. The transistor. One asks why is transistor an active element? Now, a transistor has the ability to amplify. The key word is amplify. A transistor has the ability to amplify the power of a signal. For that reason, it is also termed to be active element.
Now, <coughs> let's go to passive element. Passive element. So we're going to have passive elements here. Now, what are passive elements? Passive elements. We've already talked about the active elements. Now, when we say passive elements, what are passive elements? So, passive elements is simply an electrical component which receives or uses energy. So, now the keyword here is uses energy whilst active elements produce energy or provides energy to other components passive element functions by using this energy and converting into other forms of energy now what are examples of passive elements when you talk about passive elements, you can have a resistor, you can have your capacitors, you can have your inductors, and so on. So, from this video, we've been able to achieve that. There are two main classification of electrical elements. We have the active elements and we have the passive elements. Active element functions to provide energy and some are the voltage and current sources, the batteries and the special type transistor. Then we have the passive element which uses energy provided by the active element. Examples are the resistor, capacitors, and inductors. This is the end for this class. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share to your friends. Join me in the next class. Bye-bye.